Welcome back once again. And now to a conversation, a quick conversation this morning on COVID-19 vaccination, uh, vaccine hesitancy, and of course, how far we are, uh, uh, right, I beg your pardon, <laughs> to talk about petrol pricing and um, you know, what exactly happened a couple of days ago. The PPPRA and the NNPC having conflicting messages uh, with regards to uh, an increment in the price of petrol. Uh, we've uh, joined, been joined this morning by uh, Mr. Dan Ladi Pasali, uh, the Secretary General of Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria. Thank you. Good morning to you, sir. Hello. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. All right. Uh, uh, thank you. Let's get you all to quickly, first of all, share with us the conflicted messages. The PPPRA, of course, was the first uh, to speak about and a possible increment in the price of petrol. The NNPC of course, has mm. also said that there will be no increase. But listen, in the month of March, and that leaves Nigerians worried about what happens in April. So let's yeah. get your response to that, you know, um, uh, perspective, first of all. Yeah, the, the, the truth is that it's a mix of somewhere. And uh, the PPRA later apologized that uh, it's not what they actually reported. Because the, the last tech or last meeting we had with uh, the, the governor's forum, is that there is no issue of increase as that now because there are still discussion with labor and some other stakeholders and that the truth and the truth is that you know that the landing cost is beyond uh what we are selling as at now but it's not something that we're in a rush we're in we're, see, we're having a series of consultation because the government is rolling out the gas program gas expansion program and the gas will be more cheaper and uh, more cleaner in terms of uh, comparison with uh, petrol. So the truth is that uh, the stakeholders are still working, they are still meeting every day. And uh, the, the PPRA, I think, is a mistake somewhere because it's not part of the resolution. Okay, so when the PPRA uh, announced the, the possible increase to 212 naira per liter, we saw the yeah. reaction of Nigerians. And um, how do you think panic buying really affected market forces, you know, especially concerning the hoarding of fuel price and how it seemed to be scarce for a few days? No, you see, that is part of our uh, Nigerian situation. Anytime there is uh, any rumor, People will start panicking. People will rush to filling stations and stay there. Some of them have even poorly their cars, but because of the panicking, everybody will rush to stations. But as of now, Abuja is very, very clear. People are motorists are uh, entering stations to take point without any issue. Uh, the panic buying has been an issue for long. Anytime there is rumor or if the social media posting that ah, there is a likelihood of increment, then people will just rush to the stations. So the true situation is that the, is the panicking that is creating the artificial scarcity we are seeing. But NFPs have enough products. Even we marketers, most of our tank farm have enough products. But you know, you can't blame just the people because you you know you can also observe that a lot of filling stations also stop selling, and that's what you know creates the queues at those filling stations that are still, of course, uh, selling product. And so it's, no, you know, you, know, you see, even the filling station owners and, and, and Nigerians are all the same Nigeria. They are not uh, important people, they are Nigerians. In, in fact, if there is anything, some of them wanted to hear from us, our national, their national leaders, uh, what is happening? So we have to call them and tell them there is nothing like that. They should continue their sales. So um, now let's talk about the message by the NNPC saying that there's no increment in the month of March. Yes. Should that you know, be, you know, does that mean that it's likely that right after the month of March is uh, over, there might be an increment to 212? No, that's what I told you, that the, the stakeholders are still meeting and we're looking at how we can roll out, uh, the government will roll out the the gas expansion program. You know, the president have launched gas program, if you remember, about uh, two, three months ago. And the program we want to start implementing immediately. And with that, it will, it will douse the tension of people having alternative. Instead of buying fuel, they can go and buy gas. And that's what the NFPC is trying to put in place. In fact, by, by the end of March, the whole program will be completely rolled down. And that will be, you will see a situation where 
filling station A has gas, the other filling station B has CNG. All right, Mr. Danladi Pasali, uh, thank you very much for coming on the breakfast to share. Yeah, th thank you, Funke. All right, have a great day. Thank you very much. All right, so it's been an extended yeah. conversation today, especially about security yes. in northern Nigeria, Kaduna precisely. 39 students still in custody of bandits, 500 million naira ransom uh, demanded. Uh, we're yet to see how this all plays out. Thank you very much for listening. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Breakfast. Thanks for starting your week with us. If you missed out on any of this, remember our social media platforms at Plus TV Africa, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. See you again tomorrow morning on The Breakfast. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.